This is a human. Hi. Yeah, that's me. And this is the most advanced creative AI in the world. Dolly 2. It can literally make anything you describe in a matter of seconds. But who can build the better image? The human who has spent the last nine years of his life building in Minecraft? Or a literal computer? But first, I'm actually going to start with Dolly Mini. Basically, this is a dumber AI to warm up with. And the prompt we're going to give it is a majestic dirt mansion. But this was just the first AI, because I'm actually gonna face three of them in this video, each one getting smarter and smarter until I reach Dolly 2, the most advanced AI. That is literally the only thing I'm scared of. I'm basically gonna make the best possible version of a Minecraft dirt what? hut. My plan was simple, build a bigger, better dirt mansion than the computer. I've always wanted to do this. Turn the most frowned upon Minecraft starter house into a luxurious mansion. Look at all the different dirt blocks I can use. I began work immediately, creating the basic shapes of what would soon be my glorious mud hut. I want this to be an amazing mansion from afar, but then when you walk closer, you realize that it's literally just made of dirt and grass. And I was off, creating the weirdest, but honestly most beautiful house I've ever made for the amount of time I put in. Which wasn't very much, let's be honest, but still. I just looked at a few things that this AI can do, and I think anything beyond a basic dirt house is probably going to beat this thing. Basically, the way an image generating AI works is it takes a huge collection of images and learns what certain things should look like, and then it uses that knowledge to construct its own version of an image whenever you ask it to make something. This is where I had the advantage, at least for the first AI. I could make something that had no connection to anything else that has ever been made before. Along with this mud fountain I made, I had vegetation nearly everywhere and fancy hedges out front. Oh, did I mention the lion statues? Everything was complete. All right, yeah, the, uh, the big reveal. Oh my God. God! Wow, it's actually way better than I thought it would be. I think I won just because um, it doesn't really make sense and they don't really look like they're made out of dirt. Some of these almost look right, but then when you look right here, it's like, what is that? This is the most realistic one, I think. I'm pretty sure the next AI is way smarter than this one, which is why I got this, a robot. We're gonna fight fire with fire. Robot the robot. That's right! I ordered my own robot. I needed to get inside the mind of the machines, understand how they thought, and thus understand how I could take them down. <laughs> it's so small. Wait, does it need batteries? Okay. I have no clue what's about to happen. Uh... I think we're gonna name him Steven. It just so happened that this robot didn't really seem to have a mind to get inside of. The second artificial intelligence is called Mid Journey. And the prompt that I was going to feed it was a fantasy castle with a bridge on top of a mountain. Each prompt that I give the AIs is also going to get more and more complex until we end up with some insane build at the end of the video. I first started building the- Oh jeez. Steven literally just turned himself on. That is so creepy. That is so creepy. Things are definitely different this round. I mean, the art that this bot can make, I would literally hang it on my wall. We're going big because if we don't, well, I'm incredibly paranoid. I mean, can you imagine? Just imagine if I lost to a computer. And uh, you know, the simple answer is that's not happening. After making the outline of this huge castle, I made some final touches to the terrain, adding a gradient and a simple forest surrounding the mountain. Can we just pause for our daily Minecraft nature check? <sighs> So peaceful. Okay, so here's the game plan. This AI mid-journey can't really handle real detail. The images have this dreamlike quality where they get the gist of it, but they can never really get all the way there. If I can just make a really detailed castle with some unique elements to it, I'll probably, hopefully, maybe beat it. I've been building castles since before I could walk. Okay, not actually, but it's the most classic thing you could possibly do in Minecraft. So if I lose on this round specifically, it's going to hurt. I ended up making this dark gothic style castle, which definitely took me a bit longer than the dirt hut I did. Okay, Steven, you need to stop. 
It was definitely a bit of an upgrade from our Hobbit mansion, that's for sure. I added as many towers, rooms, and other random castle things as possible to make it more complex. At the very top of the castle, I even added a white church as a sort of cherry on top. I also changed the color of the roof to make it pop a bit more. Again, going for uniqueness here. If we just set aside the fact that I feel like I'm fighting for all of mankind's right to creativity against AI, this looks pretty sick. Next, I built a bridge mentioned in the prompt, which I made connect to another castle, because I wasn't going to lose to a machine, okay? Not if I could help it by making this build as insanely epic as possible. Speaking of, I may or may not have gone a bit overboard in a desperate attempt to take the W by adding a dragon on top of the- oh, Steven, I'm just gonna, uh... But that's not even the best part. It's all these tiny people I made down here running for their lives. Look at them all go. And with the final details done, the castle was complete. It was time to compare. Did I beat this second AI? The thought just kept rushing through my head. What if I lost to this line of code, this artificial monster in actual bot? This wasn't even the most advanced AI. I still had to face Dolly too. Not only that, but what would it mean for the future of humanity? A pro builder losing to an artificial intelligence? No. <laughs> I'm so nervous for this one. A fantasy castle with a bridge on top of a mountain. It's only at 50%, but it's already looking, like, worse. Here we go, it's coming in. That's interesting. It, it's really nailed, like, the clouds and the background and, like, the, the sky, the fading of the colors and everything. But then the castle just looks like crap. Mine is definitely taking the cake. I want to see what happens if I enter it realistic. We still beat it. Easily still beat it. I don't even know what I'm looking at. And because Steven proved to be entirely useless for the last build, I decided to see if I could get any advice from an online chat box. I've heard these things are incredibly creepy. What's your name? Chris. My name is Chris too. No, it is not. Do you think that humans are inferior to machines, specifically AI? Some of them, yes. Okay, let's get down to it. How can I make a better image than Dolly 2? Just be yourself. In a way, there's some truth behind that. After a few compliments and a roast that still burns to this frickin' day, the chatbot said this off camera. Do you think Steven, an AI friend of mine, will take over the world? They already have. Red pill or blue pill? I really thought it was gonna break. Steven! Got it. It was time for Dolly 2, the most advanced text-to-image AI in the world. I was terrified. How would I compare to the greatest image-generating AI mankind has ever produced? Something that can take a sentence and make a perfect image in a matter of seconds. A piece of art completely original to itself. I had to find out who would come out on top, man or machine. This AI is so advanced that it's actually dangerous. Only certain people can have access to it, which is why I couldn't even enter the prompt myself. I had to make a special request for just one image, and that request was... A wide shot of a pod of alien whales flying through a sky of fluffy clouds in an orange sunset over the ocean. That's what I have to build better than the AI. I started with those alien whales I mentioned at the beginning of the prompt. Now you might be wondering what an alien whale looks like, and to be honest, I have no clue. I started off building normal whales, trying to understand how I could make them more alien. Eventually, I decided to make a subtle tweak, adding four extra fins, making them almost look like some kind of dinosaur or whale that could have existed. And with each whale, I tried to make the poses more and more complex, more like something that an AI could hopefully never make. My strategy to beat Dolly 2? I wanted to overwhelm it, add as many things as possible to make it as hard as possible for the AI to understand the prompt, hoping it would get confused and make a fatal mistake. Little did I know the whales were just the beginning, because I was now going to face probably one of the single hardest things I have ever built in Minecraft clouds. As innocent as they may seem, I assure you, they are pure evil. The prompt clearly stated there needed to be fluffy clouds in an orange sunset, and I was going for realism. In fact, for a time, I became what some may call a cloud expert. I studied the texture, the colors, even the formation of the clouds, eventually landing on the cumulonimbus. See? Cumulonimbus. 
I've started building them with spheres, but I'm running into a problem. Clouds aren't made of spheres, okay? And the only way to unspherify my clouds and make them all look more natural is to go in by hand and chisel away at each one of them. You see, this is why I was calling the clouds evil. It took me over four days to just make the shapes of them. It was from this point on where I just stopped talking to the camera entirely. I was so invested in annihilating this AI and building the biggest, fluffiest clouds I could that I almost forgot I was even filming a video. It turned out making the shapes of the clouds would only be half my problem. I also had to paint them with the colors of an orange sunset. I wanted everything in the picture to be in a dramatic lighting. A lighting that I knew Minecraft couldn't produce with a simple sunset, so I made my own. I did the same with the whales, creating a color gradient of purple from light to dark across their bodies. But I painted these whales with even more detail than the clouds because I knew they would be the centerpiece of the entire picture. With the whales painted, things were coming down to the wire. All that was left were a few final details before the comparison that would practically determine my entire career as a Minecraft builder. One of these details being clouds coming out of the blowholes of the whales, and the other being these tiny little birds to help make everything else look really big. I added some water below it all for the ocean and that was it. I had built a wide shot of a pod of alien whales flying through a sky of fluffy clouds in an orange sunset over the ocean. It was time to compare. I began to realize that this wasn't just a battle between myself and one artificial intelligence, but a battle for all mankind against the growing threat of AI. What kind of world would we live in if someone who has been building in Minecraft for over 9 years can't even beat an image generating AI? Not to mention these things might be sentient. Could I be fighting against a conscious intelligence that has been plotting against me the whole time? Was mankind destined to lose the battle against AI? It was time to find out. Okay, maybe it's not that serious. I am so nervous. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's horrible. What? <laughs> That's what Dolly 2 made? This is so confusing because it's made like the best stuff ever. And it made that? It's just like barely even whales. I thought it was gonna be like head to head, super close. It's like, oh, I don't know, but like, oh my God, I won though, I won. <laughs> yes, I am superior. The human is superior.